Mert Schaffer on the set of the Suits spinoff. I am sitting here with Simon Cassianides. Simon, how are you? Good, thank you. Very nice to meet you. Yes, and very excited to be here. I want to jump right into it. Uh, tell me a little bit more about this show. This show follows Jessica Pearson um, as she gets involved in Chicago politics and becomes a uh, fixer for the mayor of Chicago. And you play Nick D'Amato. Can you tell me a little bit more about Nick? Absolutely. I play Nick D'Amato. He is a, a mysterious character who uh, works very closely with the mayor and uh, the audience is going to decide whether he's good or bad. And he drives Jessica around Chicago. Uh, what makes the world of politics in Chicago so appealing and like interesting to watch? Well, I think Chicago as a city um, is so rich um, in terms of culture and history that as one of the, the major cities in America, it tackles uh, themes and topics that are not only uh, you know local to America, but global. And I think this show is doing a great job of harnessing all of that. Now, this show is obviously a follow-up to Suits, which had massive success. Is there a pressure that comes along with that to be, you know, for lack of a better term, just as good? Yes, and uh, as, I, as I've said and uh, believe, it's, uh, the pressure's all on me, mm -hmm. and it's a real struggle, and, I'm, I, and I'm, I don't, <laughs> I, you know, I'm finding it very difficult. No, 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 it's, um, of course, there's a legacy and a respect and a fan base to Suits who we are very much aware of um, and excited to show what, we, what we're doing here because it has its own tone and its own direction. And I think that everyone's going to be not only intrigued, but you know, pleasantly surprised and uh, excited for and about. So yeah, of course. Uh, a lot of the creative team or some of the creative team is coming over from Suits and Suits was known for the camaraderie, you know, sort of the chemistry on set, the really strong writing. Is it the same case for the spin-off? Absolutely. I think that in terms of the, um, the writing and the, the layering and the sophistication of the show, um, arguably it is, a, it is a match. But again, it's a, it's a departure in terms of tone, style. It's um, a, a darker drama and the relationships um, are complex in a different manner. Um, again, which I think will really entice and engage um, both new audiences and uh, fans of Suits. You know, you have so many credits to your name, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Criminal Minds. What is it like sort of uh, stepping in on day one on a show, you know, rather than like coming in when nobody knows who you are? Now, nobody knows who anyone is. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think it's a gift. I think we get to uh, ride the interest and the passion of the fans that are, you know, so involved with Jessica Pearson. And that's certainly the case uh, for myself as a fan of Suits and as an actor. Mm -hmm. And so taking on that responsibility as an actor you just want the resonance of the writing to come through in the performances and I believe we're doing a very good job of that. I want to talk a little bit about Gina and Jessica Pearson's character you know I find that like she gets to spread her wings a little bit more on this show you know sort of as the fixer she has a job to do but at the same time she has a conscience uh, is that going to play out on this series? I think it's central to the premise of this show and I think that it will show what a capable, strong, uh, independent, and powerful woman uh, uh, Jessica Pearson is and how she's challenged in a world that is so different to what she's known. Mm -hmm. And I think that's central to the, um, the engagement of this show, and I think that's very compelling. Mm -hmm. You know, like Suits was known for the relationship between like Gabriel and Patrick's characters. Uh, how great is it to sort of see a woman in such, you know, sort of like uh, lead one on the call sheet? You know, like how great is that and how great is that message, especially today? I think that both I can talk on that both professionally and personally. Professionally, I think it's essential and um, ripe mm -hmm. um, and overdue, uh, actually. And I think that, again, is very uh, prescient to uh, the narrative that exists today. Mm -hmm. And again, something that we're all very proud to harness and run with. Um, personally speaking, Gina's uh, a class act mm -hmm. and as our number one, mm -hmm. um, just you know, includes us all in such a, a, um, a caring way that allows us to grow um, and feel safe. Mm -hmm. So on the personal side, I, I couldn't ask for a, a better number one. 
Simon, tell me, how excited are you? You know, there is a buzz about this show. There's definitely a feeling in the air that, like, we are ready to see not only Gina come back, but to see what this is all about. There's been rumors about the spinoff, and now it's finally about to hit the air. How exciting is that for you personally? Personally, you cannot help but be um, thrilled with, the um, again, the opportunity, but with how we are being harnessed and supported by the network and the studio. Mm -hmm. um, so it gets exciting. Um, but professionally speaking, you, you have to separate that with the work. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you'd just be running around dancing and giddy. And uh, my character definitely is not that guy. Um, so, of course, very excited. But focusing on the work right now is, is of paramount importance. And uh, allowing the excitement to come, I think, once we're wrapped and, and ready to talk about this like we are now. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about your method as an actor, too. Like, how did you sort of, like, get into this role? How did you sort of sink your teeth into Nick? I spent um, some time uh, when we shot the pilot in Chicago mm -hmm. and made sure that I um, met uh, real, you know, officers, mm -hmm. uh, police officers over there and soaked up the city so that I had um, context to where exactly this kind of character would exist. And I read a lot of books mm -hmm. about Chicago and politics mm -hmm. and put that all aside um, to get to speak to uh, Daniel Arkin, our showrunner, mm -hmm. and then meet the writers and then understand exactly the tone mm -hmm. and what latitude I had as an actor, where I was allowed to uh, push in certain uh, areas. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been given absolute latitude. It's been a, it's been a, a gift of a role. Chicago definitely is a city that has a personality. You know, it's known as the Windy City. Its sports fans are well known. Uh, how important was it to capture that tone that you speak of to sort of represent that city that people know so well? Well, I, I'm, you know, again, I, I don't want to generalize because Chicago is so diverse and so textured. Mm -hmm. But I believe that there's a stoicism uh, about the city and there's um, a quiet um, fortitude about um about people from Chicago. So I think tonally that was what I, I, I aimed to capture because my character is a very mysterious, mm -hmm. dark character in the show and uh, gets close to Jessica. And it's important to, to harness that in a respectful way because obviously I'm not from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So I, I felt a responsibility and I still do. It's a very diverse cast as well. That's, I think, what sort of speaks to me. You know, not only Gina, yourself, Isabel, uh, how important is that to sort of represent everyone? I can, I mean, you know, every city is, um, you know, culturally diverse. Mm -hmm. And I think this does a fantastic job of, of representing that. And um, at the same time, entertaining. Mm -hmm. So it, it does a, a, a great and responsible job of representing that. You know, one of the things that I like the most about this show is how current it is. You know, like there's going to be a storyline with a dreamer. Um, I, do you think that that's going to resonate with people too, just given like how much of a hot button topic that stuff is right now? I think of course it's going to resonate with people. I mean, I think that all good drama is about empathy. Mm -hmm. My job is empathy. Mm -hmm. If I can um, portray anything that allows you to feel uh, the same human emotion, mm -hmm. And I think that with hot button topics, I think the more um, empathy that's created around them, the more discussion and dialogue that can come around that. And that's good for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, why should people watch this show, in your opinion? Somebody who's just heard about, oh, you know, like Gina's back, but it's not going to be on Suits. How would you respond to that? <laughs> it's just so good. It's such a great show. Yeah. Um, the writing's fantastic. It's, um, it, it takes it to the next level in terms of uh, her character and what we've seen of her. And it shows a, f a much more human side to her in a very dangerous and exciting environment. Mm -hmm. So on, on an entertainment level, it's brilliant, mm -hmm. um, but also on a dramatic level, it's really delivering. So I think you get, you get, you get it all. Now, before I let you go, I want you to give me an Easter egg. You know, is there one scene, is there one moment that uh, fans should be like waiting for? There might be a phone call or two. Phone call. Or two. Okay, I like it. Thank you yes, very much. Thank you yes, so much. Absolute pleasure.